Okay, so uh, for the fifth talk, I will uh, prove some partial results of the Butler's conjecture. So we, uh, until now we have, we had a combinatorial formula for this McDonald intersection polynomial, I lambda mu, in terms of fundamental quasi-symmetric function or the monomial symmetric functions. Uh, but the Butler's conjecture originally asked if this McDonald intersection polynomial is sure positive. So Butler's conjecture concerns this sure positivity. And since this sure positivity is stronger than the original, um, the original McDonald positivity conjecture, so sure positivity of modified McDonald polynomial. So uh, to prove this Butler's conjecture, we may recall what we have done for the McDonald positivity conjecture and try to try to modify uh, the ideas to prove the Butler's conjecture. Okay, so this is somehow stronger than the McDonald positivity conjecture. And the first proof we have is Heyman's proof. So uh, in his paper, uh, 2001 paper, and uh, he have exploited the geometry of Hilbert schemes of endpoints in a plane, which is very hard to understand for me at least. And um, I think no one knows how to, to modify these idea to prove n factorial over two conjecture or the Butler's conjecture yet. So, um, and for me, I'm not an expert in geometry. So uh, I try to find another proof. So another proof of sure positivity of modified McDonald polynomials is twofold. So uh, recall that we had HHL formula, which was a fundamental quasi-symmetric or monomial expansion of uh, modified McDonald polynomials. But in a way, this also gives a positive formula uh, for the L, uh, so called LLT polynomials. So, HHL formula is not just the F or M expansion, it's, it gives a positive LLT expansions for modified McDonald polynomials. And uh, I haven't defined LLT polynomials, and what I mean by this. Um, positive expansion of LLT polynomial of modified McDonald polynomials. I will talk about it in in a minute. Okay, and the sure positivity of LLT polynomials can be uh, is due to Grovnowski and Heyman in their unpublished paper. So um, we can try the this second scheme. Okay, and since our formula. Uh, is kind of analog, analog to HHL formula. So we may hope that our formula can give positive LLT expansions for these McDonald intersection polynomial. But um, unfortunately, this is not true in general. But there's something we can say about this positive LLT expansion. So for those cases, we can uh, also use this grovnowski heyman that the sure positivity of LLT polynomials to prove the Butler's conjecture. So this is the uh, idea or the scheme of the proof of uh, Butler's conjecture. And one thing I want to remark it's kind of off topic here, but um, there's a second, I mean, there's a third scheme to prove the McDonald positivity conjecture that involves so-called uh, so K-sure functions. And uh, very recently, um, Blashak, Morse, and Anna here, and Summers, oh, I don't know the year. But uh, in, in their paper, they proved the sure positivity of the K-sure functions. 
and uh, La Puente, Lasco, and Moors in their paper, I guess, in 2003, they conjectured. So it's it's a conjecture. Conjecture that modified McDonald polynomials can be expanded in positively in casual functions. So if you prove this conjecture, you you complete the third scheme of the proof for the sure positivity of McDonald polynomial. And there is some partial progress. So k equal to two k's. It's done by Lee. I guess it's twenty one. And k is equals to three k's. It's done by Christopher Miller in his two thousand nineteen thesis. These years can be weird, but um, this preprint was come out in two thousand seventeen. So. <laughs> Okay, uh, so first thing first, we, let's recall what is the LLT polynomials. So we have a tuple nu of skew partitions. So nu, nu one, nu two, these are all skew partitions. Skew partitions. And we have a standard tableau T of this new, uh, which I denote by T1, T2, da, da, da. And uh, by a standard tableau, I mean, you fill this tuple of skew partitions with, uh, you're filling, uh, you have a filling of one, two, three, da, da, da. And uh, you have a condition that each columns and rows are strictly increasing as usual. And for this tuple and the standard tableau of the tuple, we say a pair of cells form an, an inversion, inversion of T is a pair of cells U and V, so U is in um, nu I, and V is in nu J, such that the filling of U is larger than the filling of V, and either this cell satisfies um, I is less than J, and the content are the same. Also, uh, where C of a cell I, I comma J is I minus J is the content. Or I is larger than J and the content of U is one more than the content of V. Okay. And, uh, in a minute, we will depict the tuple of skew partitions in a in a diagonals, and each diagonal will represent the content. So, the first case can be depicted as like this. So, U is a cell here, and V is the cell here, and the filling of U is larger than V. Okay, and the second one. U is here, one step higher, uh, one uh, in U is in the diagonal one more higher than the diagonal that contains V like this. And U is kind of right to V. And the filling, for the filling, we have uh, inequality like this, okay? So first condition and second condition can be depicted like this. And uh, for these cases or for, uh, from these notions, we can define the inv t to be the number of inversions of t. And rwt, it's a reading word of t. And I, I sorry, I haven't defined the, what is the reading order, but oh, sorry, I'll just 
mention it. You read first from the top diagonal from left to right, and you go to the second diagonal and and so on. Okay. I will give you an example in a minute. And uh, from this inversion and the reading word, you can define LLT polynomial. LLT polynomial all, uh, all, all, all denoted by LLT nu x cube is defined by LLT nu x cube. It's a generating function of q to the inf t, f to the inverse descent of the reading word of t, where t runs over all standard tableau of shape nu. Okay. And I'm not going to prove this, but um, I, I wanted to make some remarks that at first glance, LT polynomial is just a quasi-symmetric function. But you can prove that LT polynomials are symmetric functions. And it was done by LLT, uh, uh, Lasko, Leclerc, and Dibon. And LLT polynomials are Q analog of products of skewshore functions. Okay, so what I mean by this is that if you specialize this Q equals to one, then what you obtain, sorry, what you obtain is product of I, um, sure function of uh, this new I is a skew partition. So sure function of new I, okay? And if you see this definition, it's a generating function of reading word of, I mean, F of reading word of, uh, I mean, if you specialize Q equals to one here, this is a generating function of F inverse descent of reading word of T. And if you consider nu equals to a, a single skew shape, this is a sure function. So if you consider the, a tuple of skew partitions, then what you obtain is a product of sure functions. So somehow LLT polynomial is a Q analog of product of skew sure functions. And then you can wonder what is the sure coefficient. So sure coefficient of product of sure function is a little Richardson coefficient. And sure coefficient of LLT polynomial should be Q analog of that. But we don't know if it is a polynomial or we don't know if it is a, a positive polynomial. But um, Grovnowski and Heyman proved that. As I mentioned before, prove that LLT polynomials are actually sure positive. Okay. So the last one, uh, I will use use this claim, uh, use this statement to prove the Butler's conjecture for some partial cases. Okay. Uh, and before we go through the Butler's conjecture, we I will give you an example of LLT polynomial. So consider this couple of skew partitions. So there are two skew partitions, and this is so this box erase this one, comma this partition without this cell. Okay. And to compute the inversion easily, as I mentioned, I will depict these skew partitions in these diagonals. And at A diagonal, we represent the content. So if two cells are in the same diagonal, they have same content. So I will just put 
the first skew partitions like this, skew partition like this. And this diagonal will be of content zero. So I will put the second skew partition like this, okay? And, and yeah, and this will be the diagrammatic uh, representation of this topo loop. And consider a standard tableau of this topo. Say we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you can check that each rows and each column, each column is strictly increasing. And we can count the number of inversion pairs. So uh, for the so so there there were two kinds like this. So they either they are in the same diagonal or they have they are in the diagonals which has uh there is only difference by one. Okay. So these two cells form an inversion pair of and these two cells form an inversion pair of the first kind. And these two cells, since five is bigger than four, form an inversion pair of the second kind. So the total number of inversion is three. And the reading word of this tableau is you read first in this diagram from left to right. So one, two, and then seven, five, and then four, three, and then six. And um, inverse descent of this reading word is so one, two, and three, four. So three is in inverse descent, and four, five is in reverse direction. So four is in inverse descent, five, six is straight, and six, seven. Seven is in reverse direction. So inverse descent should be three, four, and six. And um, we don't know the actual expansion of uh, these LLT polynomial, but what we know is that there is a term that is Q to the third F of three, four, six. That corresponds this this standard tableau T. So LT polynomial is a sum of uh, terms like this over all standard tableau T's, okay? So this is a example of LT polynomial. And I have to introduce a notion called LLT equivalence, which was introduced by Miller in his thesis. So let's say we have two linear combinations of LLT polynomials. Um, so nu a nu qt. So nu is in um, nu is a tuple tuple of skew partitions, and x. Uh, in some set S, X in LLT nu and mu in Y, A, B mu, Q, T, L, L, T, mu. So these are some linear combinations of LLT polynomials. And we say these two are LLT equivalent if, if we introduce Another tuple, lambda, of skew partitions. We have an equality of uh, linear combinations of LLT polynomials, but we in this time we append this new um, tuple to the right of this mu lambda, I mean nu and mu. Okay. So if we have an equality like this for any tuple of any tuple lambda, 
then we will say it is two uh, uh, linear combinations or LLT equivalent. And we will uh, abuse our notation to denote um, LLT nu just by the partition nu or tuple of partition nu and LLT equivalence by so using three lined equality like this okay or since we i said that i can write these LLT polynomials just by their skew partitions so i'll just write it this way okay and how we can prove this LLT equivalence so to prove LLT equivalence to prove an LLT equivalence, it is enough to show, or it is enough to construct a bijection. Bijection phi um, from a union of standard tableau nu to union of standard tableau mu satisfying okay and, and let's just say that we have t here uh, t here in standard tableau of nu so suppose t goes to b of t which is standard tableau of mu okay so then we have three conditions phi one phi two and phi three and phi one is about the inversion so a nu qt times q to the n t is same as b mu qt times q to the n of phi t okay and inverse descent is preserved. Inverse descent of T is inverse descent of phi T. And we have content preserving condition. So the filling of U, where U is in nu and content of U is M. So if we fix a content, then the fillings of, oh, sorry, so oh, okay, okay, T U. Fillings of U of the cells in mu with content M. The fillings are the same. So for all M. Yeah. And if you listen carefully for the previous talks, you can see the similarity of these three conditions uh, with the three conditions that we have considered in the column exchange rule. And these, these are actually the same conditions. So these conditions for LLT equivalences is the same conditions for the column exchange rule. But um, our column exchange rule was about the modified McDonald polynomials for field diagrams. So it is weird, uh, this is LLT equivalence. So we uh, to explicitly uh, realize that relation, uh, we have to realize our modified McDonald polynomial into a linear combination of LLT polynomials. So I'm about to do that. So LLT expansion of the modified McDonald polynomials. Okay. So for an interval i, okay, uh, r from s, and a subset of s not containing the smallest one, we define a ribbon r i of s 
to be the ribbon with content set i and descent set s. So descent of a ribbon is a cell in the ribbon whose uh, a cell in the ribbon such that the cell just below the this cell is also in the ribbon. Okay. So so I'll, I'll just give you an example. So R3 of the empty set, since there are no descent, so all these cells has no cell just below like this. And R3 of two. So you start from the bottom cell. And since the second cell is a descent, so you go up. Then this second cell has a cell just below this. And since three is not a descent, we append it to the left. And R3 of three, since the second cell is not a descent, so you append it to the left. And since the last cell is a descent, so you go up like this. Okay. And finally, R3 of 2, 3 uh, is like this. So the second cell and the third cell are descent. So you go up and you go up like this. So these are four ribbons of length 3. And all these correspond to the subsets of 2, 3. So, so this is one-to-one -one correspondence between subsets and the ribbon. And we have defined a ribbon indexed by in interval and a subset. So, and we will define a tuple of ribbons. So for a diagram D and a subset S uh, containing uh, which that contains, which contains no bottom cells. We define this time R D of S as a tuple of ribbons R D one S one R D two S two and so on, where D I is the ith column of D, and we assume this is an interval. And S upper, sorry, S upper I is an intersection of S with the ith column of D. Okay. Then recall that the modified McDonald polynomial of field diagram is a generating function of inv D, which was Q to the number of invergent pairs, and match DF which was product of product of um, filling functions over our descent set, okay? And then fundamental quasi-symmetric function of F inverse descent of this W, where W runs over all permutations of size D, okay? And, um, we can partition this sum into partial sum according to the information of this descent set. If the descent set is the same, then the major. So suppose we have a descent set S and descent set cannot contain the bottom cells. So S contains no bottom cells. And uh, for this descent set, the major statistic will be the product over cells in S of the filling function Fu. And then if we partition this sum into 
this this one this inversion times f inverse descent correspond to the llt polynomial of r d s okay i haven't explicitly show you show how to do this but um you can um if you are familiar with this inversion and major statistic and f and if you are familiar with the definition of LT polynomial, you can see this directly. Okay. So this is how we obtain the LLT expansion of uh, modified McDonald polynomials. And uh, in this setting, the bijection we have considered, so bijection phi uh, that we introduced. in the column exchange rule. Um, this is actually the LLT, it is actually gives the LLT equivalence. So gives an um, LLT equivalence between the modified McDonald polynomial of F mu, mu f mu and lambda f lambda. These are modified McDonald polynomials, but um, uh, for this, uh, since th we have these equalities, so these can be considered as a linear combinations of LLT polynomials, and then we can consider the LLT equivalence. So where these two field diagrams, lambda f lambda, satisfy the condition star, okay? So, so the condition star was like this one, okay? The condition star here. Okay, so this is an example of LLT equivalence. And let's recall what we have done to give a combinatorial formula for the McDonald intersection polynomial. So we have applied column exchange rule for standard filling of two partitions to obtain this one. And then we apply cycling to obtain new field diagrams like this. They are identical except for the two columns in the far right, uh, which I uh, draw a purple region. And these purple regions satisfy the condition double star. And we have analyzed this double star or divided difference of the modified McDonald polynomial indexed by these two columns. And that, that's how we prove the combinatorial formula for the McDonald intersection polynomials. But in this time, you are considering the sure positivity. So we, we do the same thing for these two columns. But in this time, we try to get the LLT positive polynomials. So suppose we have We can prove uh, for two field diagram df and d prime f prime satisfying double star. Uh, suppose we can prove that the divided difference h tilde df minus alpha times h d prime f prime divided by one minus alpha is LLT equivalent to a positive linear combination of LLT polynomial. If we can prove this, so if we can prove these purple regions, the divided difference, is LLT equivalence to some positive linear combinations of LLT polynomial, then the divided difference of the whole modified McDonald polynomial for these two um, field diagram can be expanded into the positive linear combinations of LLT polynomials. And since these two modified McDonald polynomial of these two field diagram is the same as the modified McDonald polynomials of these two partitions. 
So what we have proved is the divided difference or uh, the McDonald intersection polynomial. So we have S positivity of the original McDonald intersection polynomial, I lambda mu. Okay? Since this I lambda mu can be ex expanded positively into uh, LT polynomials. And LT polynomials are true positive. But um, this is not true in general. And we will prove this for this M here, or yeah, M should be here. This M here, the, the height of a small column. Uh, we prove it for, prove this claim for M equals to one and M equals to two, okay? And proof for, for M equals to one, we in, we, it is suffices to show that uh, for the F of this, this shape and the prime F prime of this shape. I mean, we may have some additional cells here, but these are all identical and this is kind of trivial to extend this. So all we have to consider is only these shapes, the F and the prime F prime with a filling here, Q alpha here. And you can write down the modified McDonald polynomials. So to write uh, linear combinations of LLT, we have to consider a ribbon of this column, uh, ribbon of uh, content, I mean, ribbon of a column of height two, we have vertical strip or horizontal strip. And for vertical strip, we have a descent here. So we multiply Q alpha for this vertical strip, and we have multiply one for this horizontal strip. And for the second field diagram, the modified McDonald polynomial is just, a, these are just a cell. So there, there's only one ribbon, just a cell. So it looks like this. And it is easy to see that this LLT polynomial is LLT equivalent to this Q times vertical strip and horizontal strip. And from this, you can calculate h tilde df minus alpha times h tilde d prime f prime divided by one minus alpha is just a LLT polynomial for this horizontal strip LLT. Okay, so uh, we, we have proved the LLT positivity for m equals to one case. And for m equals to two case, uh, consider these field diagrams. Once again, we have to deal with some additional cells here, but um, it is enough to consider this one. And the second field diagram is like this. Okay. And the fillings are given by Q alpha by the condition double star alpha beta here and beta here. And M is here. So M is equal to two. Okay. And then we can write the HDF tilde HDF. Okay, I can use this. So there are four ribbons of height three. So if we consider a ribbon like this, then all the cells are decent. So we have to multiply these two. So we have Q alpha square beta for this ribbon and a cell here. And plus um, if the last cell is a descent like this, then we have to multiply this one, Q alpha. Okay, and if the middle cell is a descent like this and a cell here, we have to multiply alpha beta. 
And for the last one, there's no descent. So we have multiply one like this, okay? And for the second field diagram, the H tilde, um, each of these columns have two ribbons. So vertical strip or horizontal strip. So there are total four cases. So, oh, I have to copy and paste four times. Okay. And if these are vertical strip and vertical strip, then you have to multiply multiply alpha and beta. And if the first one is vertical and then horizontal here, we have to multiply multiply alpha, okay? And plus beta times the other one. Oh, sorry, I have to here. And here, and we multiply one for horizontal, horizontal case, okay? And this is the LOT expansion for these modified McDonald polynomials for these two field diagrams, okay? And to analyze this, we can use uh, LOT equivalences, which was studied by Miller in his thesis these four. So we copy and paste this one. And yeah, and first analyze this one first. So this is LLT equivalence to this. And I'll just copy and paste like this. And then we we'll, we just leave it like like as before. And for this one, we can use the first LLT equivalence here. Okay, so we can change this to these, some of these two. And I have to multiply Q alpha, so it will give Q square alpha and alpha like this, okay? And for this one, I can use the second relation here. So I can replace this with this one multiplied by alpha beta. So Q alpha beta, alpha beta. Okay, and I leave it the last leave the last one as before. Okay. And for the second modified McDonald polynomial, you can see that this is LLT equivalent to Okay, I'll just copy and paste. Okay, and for this one, we can use the last relations here. So we can replace this last one with this LLT, sum of LLT polynomials multiplied by alpha beta. So it's Q alpha beta plus Q alpha beta here, okay? And we can replace this one with the third relation here, third LRT equivalence. So we copy and paste this one and we multiply one. So it's like this, okay? And uh, what you can see here is that uh, this one is the same as this one. And this one is the same as this one. This, sorry. This one is the same as this one. So if you calculate the divided difference minus alpha times H tilde D prime F prime divided by one minus alpha, these same things just appear as itself. So like this because we have multiplied alpha and take subtraction and divided those by one minus alpha. So we obtain these ones, okay? And the blue ones like this, this one and this one are the same, but the coefficients here have ratio alpha. 
and this one too. This one and this one are the same uh, skew partitions, but um, we have to multiply alpha to this one to obtain the first, this one here. And once again, we have, we can pair these two. And uh, if you put this into this divided difference, then when you multiply alpha and then take subtraction, these terms vanishes, these LAT polynomials vanishes. So what we really have is this one. So we have um, succeeded to express this divided difference or as an LLT equivalence to a positive linear combinations of LLT polynomials. And this is the proof. This is the proof of a sure positivity of McDonald intersection polynomial for the case um, this column here is of height one or two. Okay. So this is how we prove. And one remark I would like to make is that, I mean, one can wonder why you cannot do that for m equals to three or bigger than three. So as a as a toy example, you take the McDonald intersection polynomial for m equals to three case, so h222 minus h2211 divided by, sorry, one minus q over t, like this. And if you take this uh, coefficients of t to the five, what you obtain is short function s2321 plus q times s2211. And this is, uh, you can say that this is a linear combination of positive linear combinations of LRT polynomial, but um, we have a restriction that we cannot change the content. So this cannot be written as a positive linear combination. of LLT polynomials in, uh, indexed by tuple of content one, two, two, one. So what I mean by this is um, the, the purple region that we have think of, so this here should be of shape this one and maybe this one, this, okay? And the same height, but we move this, so here and then this, okay? So contents of it should, should be one, two. So there are two cells here, there are two cells here, there are two cells here. Oh, okay, so there are two cells here, two cells here, and there are one cell here. So the cells of content um, 0, 1, 2, 3 should be 1, 2, 2, 1. But uh, there's no way to write this um, this metric function as a sum of LRT polynomials of tuple of that condition. So uh, somehow we cannot write the divided difference like this as a linear combinations of LLT polynomial like this. So this is how, why we have to detour this technique to prove the buttress conjecture, okay? But uh, we can, what we can say is uh, the McDonald intersection polynomial, when you specialize T equals to one, and this is sure positive. Okay. And this can be proved very easily because the modified McDonald polynomials, if you specialize t equals to one, it is very easy to calculate. So it's a product of one row McDonald intersection polynomial over. Yeah, these parts comes from the original partition mu, okay? 
And then the McDonald intersection polynomial can be uh, at t equals to one can be factored. So we are considering lambda and mu, uh, which are identical except for two rows. I mean, we have said that they are identical except for two columns, but equivalently, equivalently they are identical except for two rows. And let's say they are identical except for i and j row. Then we can factor this with modify McDonald polynomials of one row partitions mu k, where k is not i and j. And then the McDonald intersection polynomial of lambda i lambda j and mu i mu j of x q one okay and this is of course sure positive because it's a product of sure positive functions and this one here if we do not specialize t we still have a sure positivity because these are the just the two row two row partitions and it fits uh the last claim that we made uh when m is equal to one so the the theorem says that this this mcdonald intersection polynomial even for t is sure positive from uh, the previous claim. I mean, I haven't mentioned the theorem, so it's yeah previous claim. So we have sure positivity. So we complete this complete the proof. Okay. And this is the proof for this McDonald intersection polynomial sure positivity of it when we specialize t equals to one. And if you are familiar with this. Uh, QT symmetry. So QT symmetry of McDonald's intersect McDonald polynomials is uh, the original McDonald polynomial can be obtained by the McDonald polynomial of transpose if you swap uh, T and Q like this. And using this QT symmetry, you can prove the same thing for. Um, x one t. Okay. And yeah, and this is all I have, uh, all we have for Butler's conjecture. So, sure positivity of McDonald intersection polynomial. And this is all I have for today. And uh, for the last talk um, next Tuesday, in uh, for those in the United States, and next Wednesday in Korea. Um, um, I will talk about the QT combinatorial formula for QT Koska polynomial that is compatible with uh, Butler's conjecture. And this will be somehow related to this k -sure positivity of uh, McDonald intersection, a uh, McDonald polynomial. So yeah, if you are interested in this, you can come next talk. Thank you for listening. Thank you so much. Let's thank the speaker. Any questions? Seems like there's no question. So um, I'll stop the recording.